Okay, something a little bit different. This time we're going to be talking about fitting a rear door table to the new Defender. So for a long time we've had these tables in the back of our uh, Land Rovers and uh, they come in really useful for, for cooking whilst you're on trips and also you know making drinks, that kind of thing. Of course what we wanted to do was get one onto the new Defender on the rear door. Uh, I really like the existing uh, panel looks there. I used that storage bin and I wanted to use the existing holes that are in the new Defender. So I had a look at what was out there on the market and the first that I found was this one from Front Runner. It's £195 in the UK. It's a fantastic high premium table. It's got a great pull out chopping board. Looks really well made. But for me, the back panel blocks the Defender storage pocket. The second option is one from Amazon. It's just under £66, so a lot cheaper. It's not as premium, but it certainly does the job. And in actual fact, this is actually what I'd, I've got an earlier version of this, an earlier generation of this on my older TD5. And then finally, kind of a similar design again, again, not quite as premium as the front runner, but another design, £120 this time, uh, designed for the Jeep, uh, like the last one from Amazon as well, and uh, also available. So we wanted to get this onto the, the new Defender. Again, we wanted to use existing holes and uh, we wanted to maintain and keep that storage bin if uh, we could. Now the great news was that user G4R1 from Barnet in the UK on Defendi2.net had actually posted in August last year that he'd used that £66 table from Amazon Prime and with a couple of brackets on the side of it he was able to make it fit exactly to the Defender holes uh, that were already in that back door so no extra drilling he could just fix it straight in. So I thought this is exactly what I'm after. You know, I already know this table or an earlier version of it. So I thought, right, I'm going to go ahead and get that. And uh, that's what I did. So I ordered it from Amazon Prime, £66. As usual, it arrived the next day. And uh, what arrived was a smallish box that looked like this. And uh, when you open it up, then inside it, it was pretty well, well wrapped. It came with some instructions of how to actually fit it together. It also came with uh, the, the table, two brackets, a small bag of the nuts and bolts, uh, a template to use, but of course that was designed for a Jeep. So it was completely useless for the Defender. And the instructions were pretty good actually in assembling the table together, that was pretty clear. But when it talks again about using the template for the, uh, the Jeep, pretty useless for the Defender at least. So this is what we're mounted onto. This is our door before we started. Again, we wanted to keep the storage bin. We wanted to use those holes on the outside. And what we wanted to do was obviously mount the table to those. So once I put it all together, this is exactly how it looked. Um, pretty much like the, uh, the picture on Defender2.net. So really, really pleased with that. Uh, but there were a couple of things I needed to do. So let's go through it. So the first thing you've got to think about is these brackets. You could order these as well as the table. So it's a separate purchase you've got to make. This is basically what you get. You get the brackets, the bolts, and these little nuts. Um, I'll put the link in the description that was given to me. It also came from Amazon. You get this small box. And inside there, you'll, you'll actually get eight brackets. And you get lots of um, um, bolts and lots of uh, nuts as well. But uh, we're just going to use uh, four of the bolts, four of the nuts, because we've all, we're going to use some different nuts to connect to the actual Defender um, rear door itself. So we want it to look like that. Of course, we've got to drill two holes into the actual bracket itself. You can see here I put a ruler next to uh, the holes I've drilled. Hopefully that will give you an idea as to where to drill. Now to get the other dimension simply put the L bracket next to the table bracket. Just use a pencil and that will give you exactly where you need to drill. So we want to connect it just like this. You can see the bolt going through from the L bracket into the actual table. Also notice the white spacer that's in there that's connecting the bracket to the actual table itself. That came with the table, right? Something I've seen a few people talking about, so just be aware of that. That's needed in there as well. Use it from the table kit. That's going to give you, again, that exact dimension you need so you fit with the original holes in the Land Rover rear door. So go ahead and fasten those L brackets then to the table. You'll then bring that to the actual car. And when you try to use the original Land Rover Torx, 
bolts you'll find that they're too short so what you need to go and do you need to go and get some uh, longer bolts to go in there so I actually had a kit from another job I was doing on the old Land Rover uh, like this again I'll put a link into the description of this kit I had uh, from this kit I did use some of the bolts I used some of the locking nuts and also some of the washers I'll come on to more about that in a second so once you've joined it all together, it should look a little something like this. Now, what you will notice is on my table that the actual wires that are going down the side, they're not exactly straight. And the reason for that is, I don't know why, but when I actually put mine together, it was like the wires were too long uh, because the table wasn't actually level. So what I had to do is I had to tighten these wires in a way so they actually kept the table level. Like I say, I don't think I did anything wrong. It's just, they just seem to be too long and that's how I got around it. So next thing is um, you'll tighten that up you then fold the table up and it all looks great apart from what happens then is you find you've got a bit of a rattle um, so how do you get around this rattle well it, the, the table comes with these kind of stoppers and what you've got to do is you've got to place these stoppers in place to stop that rattling now the way that the table actually fastens uh, when you fold it up is through these little clips that you see here but you can see they've got a little bit of movement there at the top so that's why you need to have this stopper in place but of course the stopper has got to be quite hard against it so that it works so this is the stopper that we're talking about and what I use is one of those bolts out of the kit and some of those washers to put that in place now I didn't drill another hole for that what I did was I used one of the existing holes in the table bracket that you can see there so once you get the table you'll see there's that's the second hole up you can reuse that hole with a locking nut on the back of it and then I happen to use five washers in the back I played around with a number of different washers until it really held it just nice and tight and then it was absolutely perfect I haven't got any kind of rattle in there at all once it's locked in place it's absolutely solid and that gave me exactly what I was looking for so end result perfect table looks really neat and um, I get to use the storage bin I can get to the emergency um, triangle in the back of there as well it folds up um, it was a fraction of the cost of the other ones uh, the other tables that were on the market so really really pleased with uh, how it worked out so hopefully if you're thinking about adding a table to your new Defender on the rear door, that was useful. Uh, come join us on the all new Defender Off-Road discussion group. We'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching.